Thank you for joining us on the porch. I'm Jane Garibay, state representative for the 60th district, which includes a large part of Windsor and all of Windsor Locks. I'm excited today to have Patrick McMahon, um, local boy grown in Windsor um, and now living here. And he is the president and CEO of the Connecticut Main Street Program. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Jane. Great to be How with you. you. Wonderful. Thanks for agreeing to be on the porch. My pleasure. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what Main Street is, Connecticut Main Street, and what do you do? Sure. Uh, essentially, it's a, it's a movement that started 40-plus uh, years ago uh, nationally, and it was at a time where there was a lot of uh, suburbanization and a lot of our historic downtowns were seeing disinvestment. So the National Trust for Historic Preservation created the Main Street Movement, uh, and it's espoused really a four-point approach to uh, revitalization of downtown areas, uh, including uh, organization. Someone's got to drive the bus locally, like a first town downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, design, how things are set up in your downtown. Is it walkable? Is it bikeable? Uh, how are the buildings uh, in relationship to the, to the uh, sidewalks and to on-street parking? What kind of promote? that are going to draw people to your uh, town center or your, your, your town village, uh, and then also economic uh, revitalization. So what's your market? Who can, what kind of businesses can you actually draw based on your market reality? Uh, 25 years ago, uh, the Connecticut Main Street Center was, uh, was formed. Uh, at first, it was a division of uh, CLMP, now Eversource. Uh, four years later, they rolled us off as the nonprofit uh, organization, mm -hmm. and we are the state coordinating program for the National Main Street Movement. And we work with communities like Windsor and First Town Downtown, uh, our local affiliate, uh, to uh, provide them resources and education and training and networking opportunities so that uh, they know what the tools are that they can utilize uh, locally to, to make, things, uh, make things happen. We work with communities all across the, the state, uh, from smaller uh, rural communities like uh, Coventry to our inner ring suburbs like, uh, like Windsor and uh, Simsbury. And we also uh, work with uh, different sections of uh, cities like uh, the Upper Albany Main Street area of, uh, of Hartford. Um, so right. we're well, thrilled uh, to, to have worked with First Down Downtown for all of these years. So we're very fortunate in, uh, in Windsor to have that organization sort of shepherding and stewarding uh, the resources and the assets that we have in, uh, in Windsor Center. Right, and you brought a lot of expertise because I first met you in community development for the town of Windsor. You've been economic development director for Suffield, um, Windsor Locks. You've seen a lot of the, um, and studied a lot of the changes that happen in centers of town where they were kind of sometimes destroyed. Mm -hmm. um, and how do we revitalize and bring that back? So um, I appreciate the expertise that you bring and you have helped, you, first you are a volunteer with First Town Downtown and on the board. So you know the insides and outs and, um, and I appreciate and so do the other members of the board in Windsor, all the help that you've given us um, and why we value your expertise so much. Recently, Windsor held, uh, First Down Downtown held two meetings um, for the public. And uh, people, I know I'm doing um a lot, and I am tr trying not to do that anymore. So, um, see, um, so we held two meetings. Can you talk a, um, a little bit about that? Absolutely. Uh, it was uh, Complete Streets uh, Forums. Uh, uh, Transport Hartford, Anthony Chirilios, uh, and others uh, helped to, you know, put that uh, program together. Uh, Windsor has a has a plan, has a complete streets uh, plan uh, for the the town center. Uh, these complete street plans and uh, that are developed in various communities across uh, across the state, uh, they take planning, which Windsor has done. Uh, they take uh, community engagement, which Windsor has done. There's been plenty of different uh, forums that uh, were done uh, in order to create the plan itself. Uh, then it's really identifying the, the funding that you can go ahead and, and implement uh, the work. 
And I guess, uh, you know, the, the recent forums were basically to sort of reintroduce because right. there was a period of time between the planning efforts and the fact that, uh, you know, the, the total funding had not been uh, right. secured. It's, okay, where do we stand? What's the status? Right. Are there some short-term uh, improvements that can be done? How do we try to uh, secure the, the long-term uh, funding for the, the, the full program? Uh, it was really uh, informative and educational. Uh, the sessions were filmed. Uh, I highly recommend uh, the residents of Windsor to uh, to go and, and check out on Wind TV and First Down Downtown those uh, those recordings. And it, 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 here's the here's the deal about things like a complete streets plan for a town center, is it impacts everybody in the community. Right. So it's not just uh, the residents who live in close proximity uh, to the downtown, though they would certainly benefit if you're on Maple and uh, Elm uh, to have a more walkable uh, uh, downtown. But you know, I live up by uh, the Paquanic Firehouse, uh, but I love going down to the, the downtown. And if I have the opportunity to park once and be able to walk safely from one mm -hmm. side of uh, Broad Street uh, to the other, uh, that, that's a benefit and that will draw more people. We have 30,000 uh, folks uh, in Windsor and the more we can get them to purchase local. Right. Uh, and, and that's sort of another uh, theme. I was hoping that we would be able to communicate this morning, uh, Jane. Yeah. Just so important it is to uh, support your, your local businesses. Right. You know, you hear about uh, Shop Small Saturday uh, that happens once a year, and that's that's all well and good. Um, and I love that they do that. It's it's wonderful uh, promotion. But we need small uh, small business Saturday every Saturday. In fact, every day. Right. Uh, in, in our in our communities, and what First Town Downtown's been doing uh, during this crisis to to highlight the businesses that we're able to uh, still have mm -hmm. at least limited uh, services has been phenomenal. Uh, your Facebook Live, which is going to happen again, uh, you know, tomorrow, I right. think is a, is a great thing to do. Um, what the public needs to understand is when you uh, go and purchase something locally, the money recirculates. It does. In your community. Far more than it does when, you know, obviously it's good to support, you know, some bigger uh, uh, businesses as well. But if you go to a chain uh, and you spend your money there, it is more likely to definitely leave Windsor, if not the state mm -hmm. of Connecticut. Um, so I think 55% stays in the town itself. Yeah. When and think there. And think about it, <laughs> when, uh, when the local sports team is looking for a donation and when the civic organizations are looking for donations, who are they, who are they hitting up first? They may hit a couple of the chains, but they're going to the mom and shops and that's because there is a personal relationship. Right that there is between the local uh, vendors and, and the residents of, uh, of Windsor and, uh, and Windsor Lax and other communities. So right. um, invest, uh, invest your money locally. Right, and things have been put on uh, a little bit of a hold because of the pandemic. And um, we're still holding, the funding that we thought we might get has been put on hold, but it doesn't mean we stop working towards that we have more foot traffic because of the apartments behind Town Hall. Mm -hmm. um, we, all the businesses in the center or the majority now have apps on their phone that are doable and we went out and worked with them on that. Um, we also have the train station. We are still waiting for our kiosk, I believe. But once that's in for now, and Windsor Locks is just starting because they did get some funding, right, Patrick? That's correct. Yeah, they got uh, federal and state funding to go forward with the uh, the new train platform. It, it's going to be absolutely transformational uh, for downtown uh, Windsor Locks. Now, 
Windsor Locks is different uh, that, than our experience here in, in Windsor. Uh, they went full force in urban renewal and knocked down vast portions of, uh, of their main street that they've been lamenting for the last 40 years. Right. Uh, but they've been working their tails off to do the planning, to try to recapture what, the, what they lost. And it's great to see some progress uh, related to that. The Montgomery uh, building is gorgeous. And I've been inside. I visited Liam, um, one of my constituents there, and his apartment is gorgeous. It yeah. really is. They're so nice. For those who aren't familiar with uh, what the Montgomery uh, building is, it was that massive uh, 250,000 square foot mill building right on the Connecticut River in the Winterlox uh, Canal Trail uh, that was there uh, vacant for 10 years and has been uh, transformed into 160 uh, units of mixed income uh, housing. And one of the great benefits of that is what we call feet on the street. Uh, and that is the people who are living there going to, uh, you know, bring uh, their spending power to the local businesses. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, the downtown Windsor Locks is going to benefit from that, just like we've seen in uh, Windsor. Right. Uh, with the, the Windsor Station uh, apartments, as well as First Town Square. Uh, I think that infusion of... Uh, of, of spending power in the in the downtown is, has had to have uh, benefited the uh, local mom and pop stores uh, uh, downtown. Right, um, and then we were able to, uh, with my representative hat, we formed a working group for Main Street at the Capitol with Quinton Phipps, Rep. Quinton Phipps from Middletown, and you've been a partner in that, and. We're trying to get the legislators together that have Main Street and how do we support each other and how do we move forward? What different ideas are there, et cetera? Um, do you want to speak a little bit to that about how yeah. important? Um, I, I, I've got to applaud the uh, initiative uh, of Representative Garibay and uh, uh, Representative Phipps uh, from, from Middletown to recognize and understand that our downtowns uh, are economic uh, drivers uh, for our communities. And we have to ensure that, uh, uh, that those areas are receiving significant new uh, investment and that uh, there's programs available through various state agencies that can be coordinated. Uh, and unleashed on uh, on the on the downtown areas, whether that's through uh, historic preservation funding, uh, brownfields funding, new economic development uh, programming. Uh, there's clear evidence uh, across the the country uh, that on a per acre. Uh, uh, presentation, there's more tax generation mm -hmm. in the downtowns than there are in the sprawling retail areas on a per acre basis because mm -hmm. of the concentration uh, of buildings. So it's, it's really critically important for the economic stability mm -hmm. of our state uh, that we are making those investments like in downtown Windsor Locks with the, with the train station, like in Windsor with the uh, Complete Streets project that will ultimately, uh, ultimately get launched. Uh, it's, it's important and, and it takes the advocacy and the mm -hmm. sheer will of uh, the folks in the in the legislator uh, legislature, and in the various state um, agencies to to really uh, focus that attention on uh, on our downtowns, and we see ourselves at Connecticut Main Street Center to be the the, the lead advocate, the champion, right? Because uh, we get to hear the stories uh, from the various communities, and we can sort of curate that information and provide it to the decision makers. Uh, such that they can make the uh, appropriate uh, decisions on these uh, different. And you're items. so great with resources. You know, it's kind of difficult, like in Windsor, um, knowing where we go, who we contact, what to do. And we go to Main Street and people need to realize, like there's a Connecticut Historical Society. There are um, umbrellas for different groups of organizations and businesses and that's why we need our Connecticut Main Street because you provide that for us. Um, 
and Windsor has such good bones. I see the vision of Windsor Locks and it's gonna be awesome. And Windsor has the bones. <clears throat> right now we have a lot of our spaces are filled with our small restaurants and we need to continue to support them. If you don't feel you can do takeout, you can get a gift card because it's taken years to build up. And when you look at our town center from a newbie's eyes coming in, they're like amazed that we have Indian, we have Latin, we have a good old fashioned American, you know, hot dogs, uh, Italian. So we have it all there and we need to work really hard to keep that. First Town Downtown spent time visiting with um, businesses to help them apply for the PPE program and different um, grants and loans. And hopefully that will help them too. Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head with, uh, you know, restaurants are certainly a, a driver uh, for downtowns and we got to help them uh, as they, you know, move to potential uh, reopening, at least, uh, you know, for some outside uh, dining. Uh, having the, the gift card program was, was certainly beneficial. You know, I applaud First Down Downtown, they, you know, your, your, gift card that can be utilized anywhere uh, in right. Windsor Center is innovative. Um, I'm not sure if you know this, Jane, but I've shared your program nationally. Wow. Uh, absolutely. Posted it to uh, Main Street America's, uh, you know, listserv mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, that, that's been a, a question is, can you come up with a program where it does, you, you purchase one card and it can be utilized in any, uh, any of the small businesses in the center. And so that's, I have uh, kudos. That's great. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, finish. Yeah, I know. Um, I have to give kudos to the board of directors so that people know they're all volunteer your treasurer, your president, and they were very supportive of that program. And we also had Paula Pierce of Hosting Connecticut helping us with the logistics, thank goodness. But it took a leap of faith because there was an expenditure on First Down Downtown's part mm -hmm. um, to put forth, but we really believed in the program. And we were also fortunate with Loomis Chafee. Um, he's vice president, Rich Esposito, and they were a huge supporter of it. So we were really happy to do it and it's been very successful. Over $30,000 in cards has been purchased that is going back into those center businesses. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just having enough time and volunteers, which is important for your organization, um, our local, local, local organization and getting these fun things done for our town. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, you know, other things that, uh, you know, folks should be really thinking about uh, is having an online e-commerce presence. Uh, you know, we, we certainly, we want to support the, the, the bricks and, and mortar. Um, but there are, there is the possibility with these, uh, with the pandemic and, you know, other uh, downturns that to have that uh, e-commerce presence, uh, have a, a website, uh, the National Main Street Center did a, uh, a national survey and approximately 63% of the small businesses that responded did not have an online presence. And you may right. say that's kind of antithetical, you know, what, you know, if we're really supposed to be just focused on the bricks and mortar uh, in our downtowns. Um, but in essence, if, if the local mom and pops don't also have that presence, you're basically um, seeding market share to Amazon, right? right. Right. Because you got to have alternatives. You do. And, and so, uh, for instance, you know, when you're wanting to purchase something this weekend for, for Mother's Day or for the, the, the graduations, um, please try to think about uh, finding out who locally uh, you could go to on their websites and make purchases from the local vendors. And two just come to mind um, when you're looking for Mother's Day, Father's Day, we have, you know, we have Blue Dragonfly and they have an online. You can actually FaceTime with them and they take you through the shop shopping and you get awesome. to choose. They tell you prices, um, you know, Jordan Flores and Ace Hardware for dads. He has a good online present, presence and you can call and they will actually 
if you choose a grill, they'll put it together and deliver it to your house. So there's some good things, but I agree about the online presence. Now's a good time when things are slower to take care of those things that they never had time before because in these small businesses, they're everything. You know, right. they're their own PR person, their own webmaster, their own. So now is a good time to reorganize and be ready for, you know, open partially May 20th. Yeah. Uh, you know, I also want to make sure that folks know that there's resources for small businesses. You don't have to feel like you're doing this all by yourself. And so Windsor's got a very active chamber of commerce. Uh, so yep. rely on the chamber. Uh, there's also, you know, with the, the Small Business uh, Administration, uh, what we have here in Connecticut is the Small Business Development Center. It's called uh, uh, And there's one in Town Hall, yes. Yep. And so they're there. That's their purpose is to provide right. counseling to small businesses. Uh, there's other organizations like the, the Senior Corps of Retired Executives. There's something called the Women's Business Development Council. Um, so utilize those, those resources. Right. Um, you don't have to go at this uh, alone and right. contact your fellow business owners and ask them, you know, how did you try to approach this? Right. Uh, and what kind of, uh, ideas can, can be brought out by making those, uh, making those phone calls. Right. And so we are live tomorrow from 10 to 11. It's going to be with Jordan Flores and the Windsor Art Center that has a gift shop in there. So you can do some shopping. It's live. You can comment, see your friends. And then the week after, we will be starting with restaurants and, you know, just a little interview and tour and hope that people can buy their gift cards. You can call in or order it right on the phone. Um, or those that have it, you can go to their website. So we'll be doing that and promoting. Well, yeah. thank you, Patrick. I think our time is up. Um, I thank you so much for coming on and um, sharing all this information with us. Uh, what is your website? We are at uh, ctmainstreet.org. Okay. If people want to learn more about um, the Connecticut Main Street, or you can go to firsttowndowntown.org and um, contact us. We're not in the office presently very much, but we answer the phone, it's directed uh, to someone and we can do all that. Any last words? Thank you for the opportunity, Jane. And the last thing I wanna say is shop local. Shop local. And I just wanna, again, thank you for coming and I wanna thank WinTV, Jenny and Howard for, um, for recording this session, this program. And everyone stay safe and wear your mask. Thank you.